Hello everyone, welcome to another class of Operation Amplifier. I am uh, going to discuss the application software. This is the basic symbol as we have discussed earlier, having two interesting uh, input terminals and two power supply and one output terminal. The open can act many applications by having different uh, feedback path and input resistances like those this is the most basic circuit of open is inverting amplifier here uh, will uh, the voltage at, uh, at the output terminal will be outputted here with a gain factor of minus r towards r1 now if we make r2 equal to 0 then the circuit will have a free spin of unity because the feedback will be 100% from here we can make a circuit which could act like a voltage follower this is the circuit of voltage follower as you can see that the input resistance has been reduced to infinity and the feedback has been reduced to 0 the feedback here is 100% and V out is exactly equal to V in giving you the fixed gain of unity as the input voltage has been applied to the non inverting terminal, this is a non inverting type of voltage follower, that means the output is in phase with the input voltage. voltage. So, one point from this circuit is uh, to be noted is that by reducing the feedback resistance, we are able to get a gain of unity. And we know from the ideal properties of operational amplifier that it has a uh, open loop gain of infinity. That means open loop gain means the RF is infinity. If the RF is infinity, in ideal case, we will have the um, gain as infinite. And if RF is zero, then we'll have, uh, we, are, uh, we are able to get a gain of unity. So from here, we can say that by carefully selecting the feedback component, we can control the amount of gain of the operation amplifier any part, uh, anywhere from 1 to infinity. This is very interesting. The circuit can act as a summing amplifier. This is one of the applications of open. As the name suggests, we uh, will be able to sum the uh, different voltages together. Which are, will be applied to the inverting or non inverting terminal of the function. Here you can see that three voltage sources through our input resistance have been applied to the inverting terminal and there is R feedback resistance R. So, uh, due to the ideal uh, input impedance, ideal and height input impedance of open, there is no flow of current inside the circuit. So, we can say I F will be equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 here and uh, I1 can be written as V1 minus this node voltage by Rn and due to virtual ground concept this node voltage node X voltage will be equal to 0 because the non inverting terminal is grounded so we can say the I1 uh, will be equal to V1 by R, I2 will be V2 by R, I2 will be V3 by R, and V out is nothing but minus I F R F. So we will have the equation V out as this, look like this. Now from this equation, uh, if R F, uh, all R in are same, then we can uh, take this factor outside and uh, we will have the equation look like this. So, if further Rn is equal to Rf, that means if all the input resistance and feedback resistors are equal together, then it will form the unity gain inverting adder. That means you will have the summation of all the input voltages and the output will be just out of phase with the input voltages. Further, if uh, all the uh, input resistances that R in are not equal, that means there is R1, R2 and R3, then we will have the scaling summation of three input voltages. That will form a scaling summing amplifier. This summing amplifier can also act as an averaging amplifier if it follows two conditions. If all the input resistances are equal together and if 
the ratio of any input resistance to the feedback resistance is equal to the number of input circuits. Then we will have we will be able to form a video amplifier like this. Like this, uh, in this circuit, the um, input terminals are uh, three. So the ratio of R n by R f should be equal to three. If this ratio is equal to three, then we will have the V out as V one plus V two plus V three by three. That will be the averaging of three input voltages at the output terminal, and that's how we can make the summing amplifier as an averaging amplifier. This is another application of operation amplifier, that is difference amplifier, also called as Hopf factor. Till now, we have been applying input signal to the one terminal and grounding the another terminal. We can also apply the input signal to both the terminals. So, in this circuit, we are applying two input signal to the inverting and the non-inverting terminal. Now, from here, if we uh, we know the amplifier circuit is a linear circuit. So we can uh, make the output voltage look like as a summation of uh, voltage due to the individual sources. So we can find out uh, by grounding V2 to zero. We can find out the output voltage due to V1. If we connect V2 to ground, then we will see that the output voltage uh, this circuit is nothing but Inverting amplifier. So the output voltage will be function of minus R two by R one into V one. Next, if we ground V one, and then the this circuit will act as a non-inverting amplifier. That means the output voltage will be one plus R two by R one into this terminal voltage V in. Now, what is V in here? V in is nothing but the voltage across the R four resistance. So The V in will be uh, in form of V two R four by R four plus R two into V. So the output voltage due to V two will be one plus R two by R one R four by R two plus R four into V two. The overall output voltage due to two voltage sources will be like this equation. Now in this circuit. When R one equal to R three and R two equal to R four, then we will have a equation of Equal to V out equal to uh, R two by R one V two minus V one. Further, if R one is equal to R two, then the gain will be unity and the circuit will form a unity gain difference amplifier. <coughs> There is many more application of open as uh, integrator, uh, differentiator, and um, instrumentation amplifier, and many more. Uh, that's uh, only three applications like this: summing amplifier, um, voltage follower, and difference amplifier. That's all for this class now. Thank you for your time.